Hello everyone, this is historical gameplay Ancient Empires. Wanted to do this for ages. This is the newest patch. It's been updated, I believe, a week or two ago in mid August. There was a, a hotfix, I believe, as well. So we're going to finally take this baby for a spin. So let's go for a grand campaign. What I wanted to do for quite some time now, I didn't have the time really, didn't have, and the patch was in the coming, in the works, so I wanted to do a very, you know, very quick and purposeful uh, playthrough with Masili, with Masinissa here. So we start with one region here, we start as the Berber culture, as you can see here, the cultural trait we have is Frontier Kingdom, exotic trade so we have 30 income from trade 30 percent bonus however there is cultural ambig ambiguity 90 um, 50 percent to building conversion costs so we're also imperial allies we start i think as roman allies or a um, client state i do not know we're gonna find out in a moment so we have equestrian people minus 15 percent upkeep and recruitment for cavalry first uh, famous mercenaries diplomatic bonus and nomadic traditions we have three growth across all provinces unfortunately and nomadic traditions sanitation is good though so that's 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 great so we playing on normal difficulties because i think this is recommended setting so let's dive straight into it right here we are we have dwelled in this land since long before the others came the world will quake at the sight of our strength and then we'll know that we are the rightful rulers of this land aha uh -huh. so this is it this is the beginning All right so this is a new patch so you see there is wow there is a spy now i don't recall having a spy before so that's must have been something new so where is our faction leader is that it yes this is masinissa so what we're trying to do with this campaign we start with only a single region here so what i'm going to do i'm going to recreate masinissa's exploits i'm going to consolidate much of this north african coast and i'm going to create independent well hopefully independent if not then allied to rome client state as it was historically much more expanded upon than this single province we're currently on so this is what we're going to expand it to according to historical expansion this is the limits of the numidian kingdom by the time he died masinissa died uh, he was a very one of the most famous if not the most famous Numidian uh, leader so quite an interesting character so we have him here now in the uh, Carthaginian territory what else do we have aha uh -huh, we have the Roman army led by Publius Scipio uh, okay this is Africanus himself I believe and he should be he's only 19 uh, units strong he should be, I think there is a scripted event when he encounters Hannibal. So this first episode, what are we going to do? We're going to see who we are at war with. We're going to see the starting position. So we're at war with, okay, Boi or Boi. And we have well, obviously Carthage. Uh, who else? Who else? Okay, these are the enemies of Rome, I believe. Therefore, enemies of ours as well. Okay, so Masasile. Okay, this is our immediate concern. This is another rivaling faction. Uh, in Africa, North Africa. Let's see, what can we Before do with them? Nothing. In, All right, so we will need to... The evil eye. All right, fantastic. We will need to get rid of them. We are puppet state of Rome, Masile is. Therefore, we cannot negotiate. So, But he's based around here. So my first concern is to destroy that ri rival faction. Historically, uh, this kingdom would be based in East Africa here, sorry, in West Africa here, and Massilia. Uh, Masili would be based here, uh, led by Gala or Gaia, depending on the source, who was Masinissa's father. He's actually here now. He is not a faction leader, it seems. So this first episode, we're just going to set our house in order, so to speak. Let's see what we can do with him. What does he have? Uh, doesn't have... But he has management of five, right? He should be good for our governor here and who is this this is another son of his what does he have oh wow look at this gentleman he has got much better chances of improving our province region and province he's got all the positive growth sanitation 
tax and all the rest of it so why don't we make him make him uh there you go a uh, governor here this is great we'll have masinisa now in the field i would like to marry him let's see if we can go through diplomatic scroll and maybe we can find some uh, nice ladies among our allies no not here unfortunately who else who has princesses available uh who else do we have nobody okay oh yes the mods i have installed here as you can see is this is a swap region mod uh, which is in my opinion region trading is essential for any playthrough i also have a natural water and i also have logistics mod installed supply system there you go okay nothing else so these are all essential mods and the rest is basic vanilla ancient empires so this is giving you a bit of a logistics like uh, side of things so it kind of gives you another dimension to your campaign okay welcome to ancient empires so what happens here at the time hasdrubal gisco carthaginian general who has fought against roman iberia and north africa during the second punic war customarily uh, identify as the son of gisco he commits suicide okay roman consuls and greek archons this is okay so all we need to know is that scipio africanus now is in africa so he's about to you know clash with uh, hannibal in this famous battle of zama uh epic struggle so here what happens on the uh, october 19 battle takes place uh in carthage in the meantime uh, accused of treason carthaginians uh, uh, by the carthaginians after being defeated by the romans at the battle of great plains hasdrubal gisco commits suicide okay this is this gentleman above uh, this is you have to avoid being lynched by the carthaginian mob carthage was traditionally very harsh with his uh, unsuccessful generals exiles was you know the lightest they could get away with normally it would be a crucifixion it would be execution so october 19 battle of zama takes place 130 kilometers southwest of carthage and it ends obviously the second punic war largely destroyed the power of carthage roman and numidian forces under the leadership of the roman general publius Cornelius scipio and massinissa uh, defeat the combined army of Carthage and other Numidian allies and uh, forces Carthage to capitulate. Uh, Hannibal actually advised Carthage to just, you know, agree the terms quickly and promptly with Scipio. Hannibal loses 20,000 men, but he's able to escape the uh, Numidian pursuit. Uh, okay, Roman general Carnelius Scipio gains the surname Africanus as a result of this victory at Zama. We're not going to go into other affairs, there's no time so just to say that i'm not sure where hannibal is probably around this somewhere this vicinity here let's see what we have food shortage resolved okay so masinissa is a faction leader we're going to look for a wife for him first and foremost because i couldn't find any wives among the allies uh let's do that okay this is uh always a uh, governor we made him in africa which is great i think right let's see what can we issue an edict yes we can okay we're going to investigate we have problems with sanitation here it's in red so is there anything actually how is our income looking are we doing okay we're making a bit of money so let's see native discount discontent let's see what is causing the problems with public order it's actually deteriorating and the change per turn okay it's due to native discontent and taxes so can we actually deal with that issue yes oh no that's plus 15 where is native discontent food consumption food we're doing okay we're 30 plus we have a surplus i'm not worried about that uh decrease it doesn't have an option to actually decrease it seems to me native discontent so um yeah well can we gain some money native this oh yeah there you go minus 15 so we're gonna go with this and public order as well and what can we actually build here uh what do we have in terms of garrison oh we have plenty of troops here sitting here that is fine sorry going back sorry to this family tree what else can we do here we don't have anything else we don't need another army 
we have one army we're trying to marry this gentleman we can potentially try and seek wife for our governor as well hopefully with a positive trait and he's got a son as well it seems 42 he's this gentleman is 20 Masinissa is 36 now Masinissa obviously he shouldn't be here what he should be doing now is leading cavalry contingent within this army and I was suggesting that to the team hopefully they will maybe in the future find a way of implementing it it would be good if the opening move for the car uh, new media was the same as for the roman cartridge massive big bang battle um, of zama here with the uh, masinissa potentially leading maybe two three units of the cavalry on the roman flank as he was historically if possible not sure that would be nice though but right now what we have him is separately he's got some uh, infantry contingents with him as well and like i said we try uh, the first and foremost priority is to destroy uh, masasili this is the african rivals that we have historically there was a lot of animosity between the two syfax was the leader there and there was a lot of politics going on between him and Carthage and numidia and masinissa because again masinissa's kingdom was closest to Carthage, proper to Carthage, Carthage, the city itself in um, in eastern part here and Syfax was here but then in, during the course of the second or punic war masinissa was obviously starting as a carthaginian ally then that that changes and all the rest of that so first of all i'm going to move him here let's see okay so that increased our public order great i'm going to try and recruit a few more men our target is obviously this gentleman here i don't know if i can I cannot seem to do anything with my agent. He's got one, one, one skills in everything, subterfuge and you know all the rest of that. So he's not very useful. Let's see. And uh, we're going to be also expanding our um, possessions in Africa. But also, what I want to do is with the aids of technology to kind of bring about what uh, Masinissa was aiming for: centralized, uh, settled people, settled kingdom. With the farming with centralization so we're going to hopefully research all of that because he tried to get them to settle the they obviously nomadic people and what we're going to do we're going to go for centralization it will give us a bit of a tax so yeah hopefully when we finish with that we get tax boost three percent uh, okay that's good so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and build farms i'm going to try and recreate this settled civilized so to speak kingdom that he envisioned so we cannot upgrade that but even if we could it would drain our food 60 food consum consumption let's see okay so first of all let's if i remember correctly from last time i played we don't have any natural resources here so we're gonna aim at the food food supplies and i think the best way to do it is through a uh, land grants i think if that if memory memory serves me right last time i played was really really long time ago i haven't touched the game in ages although i love attila i think it's a superior game to rome too and it's got its own unique atmosphere you know this kind of deterioration of the climate i mean i'm talking about vanilla here obviously so it's really interesting game uh, unfortunately it wasn't optimized uh, by the creative assembly they kind of abandoned it uh, regretfully so yes and that's not really good and I'm, I'm afraid for the you know uh for the uh ancient empires either because you know it's obviously not as popular because it doesn't run as smoothly as the other games as the rom which was you know optimized for years and years and so many patches it's undergone okay so so we're done here we're researching we settled our house in order so what i'm going to do now we're building and we're recruiting I'm going to recruit a few more units i'm targeting this gentleman here so uh, scipio will be fighting hannibal now so let's go and end the turn here okay Carthage and rome have settled uh, on terms fine uh, firstly Carthage will be forced to relinquish coin in the form of installment to rome the value of these installments is to be determined by the wealth of Carthage at a given payment period and will uh, fluctuate accordingly. Mm, quite smart, isn't it? Carthage is to acknowledge also Rome's sovereignty of the Iberian Peninsula. So uh, now they lost Iberia as well. Uh, Mediterranean is now Roman and this fact is not up for debate. Okay, unfortunately. Okay, so that's fine. So we have, okay, so we have an offer. 
for our governor here in Numidia and she will give him plus one management it seems and influence well that's great let's take her hand oh rejection for Masinissa however this is not good is it okay we lost control there agent exposed all right this is our agent here so this army settled here uh, you know f f camping here it seems and this is good this is what we're aiming for unfortunately i will not be able to reach them this turn but we will try and reach oh there is a new faction here we discovered okay let's see can we the people of Carthage. Welcome oh we can arrange marriage Amazon. now for masinissa masinissa was actually married it was an unfortunate story when he was kind of forced uh, Safanisba was his wife and he was uh, forced to repudiate her then send her the poison no they would not agree to that what else can we offer trade, trade. no how about just trade no trade. well obviously they don't want to do any, any do want to do anything uh, with us who else are we at? we're still at war only only with Masasile. so we need to settle the score here they are apparently I think uh, they are nomad faction, so they're not settled. So I'm going to march towards them, bring Masinissa. Actually, yeah, talking about some of these inaccuracies here, Gala actually died uh, in about 208 BC, so six years prior to the beginning of the game. So he shouldn't be alive at this time. That's why probably they made Masinissa a faction leader, but forgot to make this gentleman deceased. He's 84 years old apparently still oh look at that our governor has problems with loyalty hmm okay we'll keep an eye on him can we make him actually if i make him an office holder salary plus two personal security resistance okay affects public order integrity that's for generals that will not give us anything okay we'll leave it there now for now we're not going to do anything here i'm going to try again I'm going to try to seek wife again for Masinissa because we need to settle this issue hopefully soon enough. Okay, so yes, we detected him. So yeah, um, Masinissa originally fought for Carthage. However, he would, you know, witness that, you know, Carthage... Oh, what happened here? This is Scipio, right? Actually, Scipio's father, also known, you know, Scipio's, uh, Scipio, Cornelius Scipio, was actually chased in Iberia by uh, Masinissa himself when he was still fighting on the side of Carthage. So what happens here? They apparently did not fight that first battle. I'm not sure what's going on. But okay, let's just skip that and we need to focus on this gentleman here. But I'll have a look at what they're doing now next turn. There's not much else to do. We can't trade with anyone but Carthage who refuses. This is Hannibal himself. The famous, legendary, one of the best if not the best military leader. Uh, of all time okay we'll talk about it a bit later let's just end the turn here okay here we are again yet another reject a rejection this is ridiculous isn't it how can you uh, reject a faction leader a king uh, you know what uh, oh look good fortunes good fortunes okay so what we're going to do we're going to defeat this army now he's got nothing there to counter us with and Scipio arrived here at our, at our doorstep still 19 units strong hasn't recruited anything our agent is still exposed and we have two notifications of that for some reason that is fine some of these factions here uh, unseasonal conditions yes at war with each other which is okay that's fine by me so Masinissa gained persuasive trade which is good recruitment cost for mercenaries and all the rest of that good undependable however uh, just begins that's not really good okay Gaia or Gala extreme provocation unsociable is that all okay all right well uh, let's let's march on let's just try and defeat this army here ah retreated can we can we still reach him yeah, as you can see, the natural water looks so much better than the vanilla. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. Fantastic. Look at this. We are outnumbering him by so much, yet we still have little chance. Well, maybe we do stand a chance, but I thought this would be more in our favor. But anyway, let's scout the terrain. 
Let's see what it's all about. I haven't played a battle in ages. High ground. Do we enjoy the high ground? Yes, we do. I think this is our side. So let's go and fight it out. All right, so here we are. Here we are. We outnumber them vastly. We have a lot of infantry, so just need to keep an eye on their cavalry and deal with that so they don't run amok and kill our faction leader. God forbid. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we have deployed. I was wrong. I was really, really, <laughs> yeah, confused the side. So they have the upper ground, the higher ground. We have uh, the bottom of this hill here, the flat, la uh, flat lands. I positioned all of my cavalry here on the right flank. Might be a mistake on my part. We shall see. We have slingers up front. We have uh, javelineers uh, in the second line here. And we have uh, line infantry spearmen here, just behind them, lightly armed with Durio spear, uh, shield, sorry, and a spear. So they have, uh, yeah, they have sent. Let's just send the entire infantry here up the hill a little bit. Let's go this way. Okay. So yeah, they have sent their cavalry forward. We're still waiting for them to act. They're just waiting for us to apparently to make a first move. All right, this is our cavalry. Shall we just group them? Let's group them with Masinisa, yes. Okay, that's fine. Let's move them forward as well, a little bit. I'm gonna be cautious here. Don't want to lose my faction leader because the entire playthrough is based around his persona, obviously. Uh, right, let's move this forward a little bit more. It's not gonna be easy for us to target here. Yes, by the way, I have full realism here enabled so you don't have radar map. And um, I do not see the forces that are further than 200 meters away from my own. So uh, it's another thing that, you know, uh, gives a bit of a more... Oh, who is this? Ah, we have some sort of a imitation legionaries or whatever you would call them. It was historical that Numidians actually did train some troops in Roman fashion. So yes, I do not see the troops, uh, enemy troops, if they are too far away. But let's let's get our cavalry yeah, into position here, and let's bring the infantry closer still. There you go. And let's see how that works. Yeah, look at how beautiful the terrain, the battlefield is. We have absolutely stunning vegetation here. Really, really amazing mod, amazing. Absolutely love it. There's a, the team is very small. The guys do what they can. I mean, a de dedicated team fantastic job i just really wish that you know creative assembly optimized attila the way they do, did you know uh with the rome i mean rome rome too it just yeah i think it's a better game uh, it's just got so much character to it you know right let's let's send the uh, javelin is fourth i think what i've done i positioned my um slingers yeah i gave them i think they are on a skirmish mode. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Here we come. Here we come. Here we go. Okay, let's start. Numidian fame, Numidian cavalry. This is actually good. They seem to have split their cavalry. So maybe I could isolate. All right, let's go for this. Maybe I could isolate these three, two units, sorry, and destroy them. We shall see. All right, what's happening here? Oh, they have a Numidian. It's actually, uh, we have light cavalry here. They have... They have aristocracy or whatever they call this unit. I'm not too sure. But they are heavier cavalry units. So we might be struggling here a little bit. We shall see. Let's send the media uh, Masinisa here as well. Okay. So what happens here? All right. Let's get the spearmen into action. Perfect targets. These guys are for us. All right. All right. Let's target this unit here and this unit here. Let's disable disable this skirmish mod okay there you go all right so they are retreating here now however we have lost a couple of units of skirmishes there well that's okay that is not lethal hopefully all right what we need to do is send Masinisa here I think to the aid of this unit because we taking some heavy ca uh, dam heavy damage here and uh, this unit... Oh, are they not on skirmish mode? No, they're not. Ah, they should be, shouldn't they, by default? They're skirmishing uh, cavalry. They are not something that you would want uh, 
to be you know engaged in melee okay so that's Masinisa here hopefully he doesn't die here in this first uh, <laughs> first battle that we have all right let's pull this unit out go out out of there boys all right where does this unit go stop here all right let's target oh yeah that's the enemy cavalry all right that's them retreating okay that's okay so let's target this unit of cavalry and our own cavalry here is in flight one of the units is wavering unfortunately all right let's stop and what can we do here so yeah this is a different type of warfare a lot of skirmishes a lot of you know hit and run tactics we have here oh there's some sort of a uh, barn here or what have you all right go 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 let's disable skirmish mode i'm just worried a bit now i'm worried that you know my all right let's target this unit here let's target their melee cavalry all right and we don't have any rallying ability or anything at all for my Senisa, it seems all right let's pursue and with these guys they are wavering now okay so they are gone right let's let's pursue this unit here with our own cavalry all right go uh what's happening here oh it's okay we routed their unit here now i'm after obviously this gentleman here let's target him let's bring our slingers let's bring our missiles upon him all right let's see if we can perhaps encircle him i'll bring my spearmen to the fore and my infantry too okay so here we're done okay where is our skirmish cavalry we have only two units left let's bring them up here up the hill let's bring this unit up on oh they they have no ammo anymore okay all right yeah no ammo anymore okay that's fine so they've engaged now and they're routing our unit of slingers it would seem yes they crashed into it absolutely dismantled it but they seem to be uh, getting drawn into our trap which is good so I'm going to bring this unit here and I'm just gonna give him hell with our infantry with our spearmen and we have unit of okay we need Masinisa I think to support this soon enough yes this oh look look at the heavy damage we take in here all right let's bring the cavalry here all right bring the cavalry back bring this unit back as well all right so they are smashing this unit of javelineers absolutely absolutely smashed if i kill him now if i manage to kill their faction leader hopefully victory did he die did he die i don't know no we're not gonna end the battle i'm gonna make sure well if i can that this gentleman is dead i don't want to be chasing him across the map hopefully not um, but I don't know if I'll be able to kill him because Syfax was yeah well in real life uh, he was uh, enemy of Masinisa they had very complicated relationships so to speak uh, he was eventually uh, they switched roles so Masinisa became ally of Rome instead of Carthage and Syfax uh, switched from uh, well switched to support Carthage he was kind of neutral and then uh, he then yeah was courted by the Carthaginians and that's what happened so Masinissa wasn't very pleased with that he forced actually Syphax from his kingdom uh, yes and um, you know he gained his kingdom eventually in West Namibia so we that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to kill him kill him uh, oh there you go close victory right let's see what we have and the battle okay so is wow he killed 413 of our men i think amazing right uh so we lost 839 all right let's see if he's if he's dead or, or still alive okay right close victory no the bastard is alive okay let's see kill captives uh, we totally lost two units of our slingers no let's just enslave no enslave no let's just ransom and release enslave yeah let's do this and replenish our ranks so yes this is actually obviously not Syphax Syphax was actually forced uh, by uh, Masinissa to flee to Mauritania which is down here oh no we killed him we have killed him faction destroyed 
my Cecilia. So fantastic. So this is our first episode done. We have managed to destroy the my Cecilia. Now we have no enemies and Carthage is now allied with Rome. So I will see how we can uh, provoke them. I want to historically kind of reconstruct the big uh, Numidia here under Masinissa. He was obviously historically provoking Carthage all the time until, you know, Rome declared war and the third uh, uh, Punic War started and Carthage met its end in uh, 146 after the years of siege by Scipio, uh, by the next Scipio Africanus. Obviously, uh, you know, this Africanus was not around by then. But yeah, this Africanus, however, never seemed to have had a fight with uh, Hannibal for whatever reason, not sure. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Again, what we're trying to do here is this campaign by Numi by us as Numidia. We're going to try and recreate uh, Numidia, settled, civilized, hopefully uh, turned into agricultural society, led by Masinissa, uh, owning much of the North African coast here, and you know, at the Carthaginian expense if we can. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.